In Germany, the latter part of the 19th century and early years of the 20th century saw a big shift in musical styles. Composers were moving away from romantic music and constantly searching for something new. However, one composer in particular looked back and found inspiration in the music of J.S. Bach and other Baroque musicians. Guided by classic forms and contrapuntal styles, he wrote hundreds of works in many styles and for many instruments. However, it's his organ music that keeps his memory alive today. Today on The King of Instruments, we will hear music of German composer Max Reger and a few of his contemporaries, so stay tuned. This is The King of Instruments. Today's episode of The King of Instruments has been made possible by Morningstar Music Publishers. Morningstar is a non-denominational publishing house offering music for churches whose worship focuses mainly within the liturgical tradition. Visit their website and see their entire catalog by going to morningstarmusic.com. Hello, and welcome to The King of Instruments. I'm Bill Stein. And I'm Mark Schultz. Max Reger was born March 19, 1873, in Brand, Germany. He was exposed to opera in his early years, in particular the music of Wagner's Die Meistersinger and Parsifal. But Reger much preferred the older Baroque style of composition, and this was quite evident in his organ works. Let's start off with his Toccata and Fugue in D minor, Opus 59. Of course, Bach had a very famous organ work by the same title, and if you listen carefully, you will hear some similarities. Reger uses a free style in the Toccata with several short sections of music, just as Bach did. From the recording Fast and Sinister, organist Scott Bennett plays Reger's Toccata and Fugue in D minor on the Reuter organ of Grace Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina.
Scott Bennett played Max Reger's Toccata and Fugue in D minor. In 1890, at the age of 17, Reger began formal music study in Wiesbaden and Sonderhausen. In 1893, he began teaching piano, organ, and music theory. By 1901, he was well established in the city of Munich, despite public opposition to his preference of composing in the old manner. One of those styles was writing a musical work over a basso ostinato or ground bass, which is what we will hear next. Amanda Mole performs Max Reger's basso ostinato in G minor from his Nine Pieces, Opus 129. From her 2019 recording, Mole plays the 1984 Marcusen and Son organ of 56 ranks at the Musashino Civic Cultural Hall in Tokyo, Japan. This is great. An American organist playing a German composition on a Danish organ in Japan. Organist Amanda Mole played Max Reger's Basso Ostinato in G minor. We are featuring music of Reger and his contemporaries today on The King of Instruments. In 1907, Reger was appointed professor of composition at the Leipzig Conservatory, as well as music director of the University of Leipzig, teaching, composing, and performing in a city that once was home to J.S. Bach was surely an inspiration for Reger. Austrian organist Anton Heiler, whose 100th birthday was celebrated in 2023, was born just seven years after Reger's death. Heiler championed many of Reger's organ works during his career, so let's give one a listen. Max Reger's Benedictus is, perhaps, one of his loveliest quiet pieces, 
and Hyler certainly does it justice. Playing another Marcusen and Son organ, this one a monster at 105 ranks, Hyler recorded this in 1973 at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception in Linz, Austria. Here is Max Reger's Benedictus.
Anton Heiler played the lovely Benedictus by Max Reger. You're listening to the King of Instruments. There are many organ works by Reger that we cannot get to today, and some of them are quite lengthy. We invite you to listen to the fantasy on the chorale on Festa Burg, the fantasy and fugue on B-A-C-H, the introduction Passacaglia and Fugue in E minor, as well as many other works for chamber ensemble, choir, and solo singers. Rager also composed orchestral variations on themes by Mozart and Beethoven. And his orchestral output increased when he was appointed conductor of the court orchestra in Meiningen in 1911. We have noticed that many of Rager's organ works are penned in minor keys, and the next is no exception, the scherzo in F-sharp minor. Isabel Demers included this work on her 2013 recording titled Bach, Bull, and Bombards. Demers plays the 2010 Murphy organ of St. Patrick's Church in New Orleans. Thank you. 
Isabel Demers played the scherzo in F sharp minor by Max Reger. Today's episode of The King of Instruments has been sponsored by Morningstar Music Publishers, whose extensive catalog of church music includes works by Max Reger. You can search it by going to morningstarmusic.com. To find out more information about how you can sponsor an episode of The King of Instruments and help keep organ music on the air in St. Louis, send an email. The address is koi at kingofinstruments.show. We told you at the top of the show that we would also hear music by contemporaries of Reger, so let's do that. First up is a work by German composer Hugo Distler. Distler was born in 1908 and employed the new style of composition in that time, known as post-romantic. Early 20th century compositional styles were just beginning to emerge as well. Organist Faith Fries plays the Orgel Partita on Wacket auf, ruft uns die Stimme. Sleepers wake, a voice is calling. Fries plays the Gladder Gotts Rosales organ at the United Church of Christ Congregational in Claremont, California. This instrument, built in 1998, has 81 ranks.
Faith Fries played Distler's Partita on Wachet auf. German organist Felix Hell took the music world by storm when he performed his first solo organ recital in Russia at age nine, and several other international recitals before his 11th birthday. Hell performs Max Reger's Variations on America, the hymn tune associated with My Country Tis of Thee, and also the national anthem of the United Kingdom, God Save the King. Felix Hell was just 20 years old when he recorded this on the brand new Rieger Kloss organ of Independent Presbyterian Church in Savannah, Georgia, in 2005. <laughs>
You're listening to the King of Instruments. German Wunderkind Felix Hell played Max Reger's Variations on America. As we approach the end of today's episode, let's feature one more of Reger's contemporaries, Joseph Reinberger. Born 34 years before Reger, Reinberger left us with a wonderful canon of organ repertoire. And our episode on April 28th, two weeks from today, will feature Reinberger's music. For today... Let's listen to the first movement, the Grave, of his fantasy sonata in C minor. Organist Paul Durrett plays this on the historic Anisons and Nicholson's organ of the Priory Church of St. Mary in Bridlington, England. hope you have enjoyed today's episode featuring the music of Max Rager and his contemporaries. We love hearing from our listeners. Drop us an email via our website at kingofinstruments.show. And don't forget, you can hear this episode again, as well as past shows on our website. Once again, those are available at kingofinstruments.show. We conclude today with Rager's powerful introduction and posicalia in D minor. This work is dramatic and encompasses all the emotions. Dominique Sauer plays this on the Kuhn organ of St. Peter's Cathedral in Osnabrück, Germany. Join us next week as we present music by French composer and organist Félix Alexandre Guimont. Until then, I'm Bill Stein. And I'm Mark Schultz. Thanks for listening.
Thanks for listening to The King of Instruments. Complete information about everything we've played today can be found on our website, kingofinstruments.show. We'd love to hear what you think. Send your comments or questions to koi at kingofinstruments.show. The King of Instruments is a production of the Organ Media Foundation. Brent Johnson, producer. For more information about us, visit our website at organ.media.